If you who have a heart need a friend that could come closer than any, than any brother Cause he's that kind a friend He'll walk right in front of you To who always protect you So the devil can do you no that kind of friend I came to Christ just as I was, I was lost, I was deep in sin, I had no peace for the Because everything has changed because, because of Christ. Somebody, somebody said, no matter. You're going through, they said that I that I could take it. Somebody said, somebody said there's gonna be stumbling blocks, there's gonna be trials and tribulations. They said that Cynthia, you you can't take it. And guess what? Can't you see? Cause every little thing, oh, everything, everything has changed because, because of Christ. <laughs> it's good to know. Jesus, everybody ought to know, Jesus, he's the Alpha and Omega, he's the beginning and the end, it's good to know the Lord, it's good to know, Jesus, everybody ought to know, Jesus, He's joy and sorrow. He's our hope for tomorrow. It's good to know the Lord. Listen.
listen. I came to Jesus just as I was, yeah. I was weary, wounded, and sad. But you know what? I found in him a resty place. And he has made me glad. Oh, it's good to know Jesus. Everybody ought to know Jesus. He's the author and the finisher. He's the beginning and he's the end. It's good to know the first, the last, the lily of the valley. <laughs> the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Woo. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. I sing because I'm happy. And I sing because I'm free. Glory to God. Obedience to God, whom is the head of my life. Is he the head of your life today? To Jesus, whom died on the cross for all of our sins and the Holy Spirit that dwells within. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I've been there and I've done that. We talking about heaven and hell. I was on my way to hell. And I'm on my way to heaven today. And I thank God for allowing the Holy Spirit to take over. And I thank Him for, for it being installed as a child from my parents, my parents' parents, my parents' parents' parents. You know, um, it's just so good to know that you can feel good and, and you ain't never alone. You always... God is a good company keeper because I'm here by myself and I does this a lot by myself. But I'm in a company of, of um, just I'm full of life today. I'm full of life. I thank God for the good things. I thank Him for the bad things. I thank Him in sickness. I thank Him in when I'm in good health. Um, I just want to say that, um, I, you know, um, heaven or hell, we just showed the show heaven or hell the rapture like i said no man know the day or the hour man can always say uh the millennium is going to give a date or something but they don't know only god know god can come back anytime he want to come back because because guess what he's god he's god and the show heaven or hell I got my ticket in my hand don't you want to go i'm gonna read this ticket too because i was gonna read it on the heaven and hell show but i said no and then i was gonna also probably still bring the the remainder of the the message from the bishop i don't know yet because we got elder Foles coming forth however when i think get to talking about being there done that um i've been i've been there you know hell bound i've been um in different situations where i could have uh lost my mind. I mean, I could have, a lot of people don't make it out of things that God has brought me out of. And that's the reason why I'm able to be a helper to, to his people. Um, I'm going to read this, um, this ticket, this free ticket to heaven. And then on the other side, it's the ticket to hell, because you know, if either you're going to go to heaven or you're going to go to hell. So let's see which one suits you. Okay, the ticket, the free ticket to heaven, it admits one, number 777. Think you already have a ticket to heaven? Tuck it in your pocket. After all, you're a good person whose deeds, who good deeds overweight your bad, right? Some believe that saying a prayer or being baptized in their ticket 
to, it's the ticket to heaven. You don't want to be wrong about eternity. So here's how to know if you're good enough for heaven. There is none who does good. No, not one. Romans 3 and 12. God's standard is goodness is perfection in thought, word, and deed. That means that none of us can make it on our own. Even one sin will keep us from heaven, not by works or righteousness, which we have done, but according to his mercy, he saved us. Titus 3 and 5. In his mercy, God made a way for us to be forgiven. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, died on the cross and to pay the penalty for our sins. Then he rose from the dead. You must repent, just turn away from sins, turn away from your sins, and trust in him and him alone to save you. Only Jesus is the ticket to heaven. Amen. Which ticket are you holding? The ticket of heaven or the ticket to hell? And then to say, I give eternal life to them and they will never perish. And no one will snatch them out of my hand. John 10 and 28. It's your ticket to heaven. Then you know, we also got that ticket to hell too. Number 666. It'll miss one. Free ticket. Only really evil people like murderers get a ticket to hell, right? Here's how a holy God defines evil. Whoever hates his brother is a murderer. 1 John 3 and 15. Have you ever hated anyone? Ever lie? Ever told a lie? All liars will have their part in the lake of fire. Revelations 21 and 8. Even looked at someone with lust, sexual desires. Jesus said that looking with the lust is committing adultery in your heart. Matthew 5 and 28. Even stolen, ever stolen anything? No adulterer or thief will inherit the kingdom of God. 1 Corinthians 6, 9th chapter, the 9th verse and the 10th verse. Ever use God's name in vain? That's called blasphemy. The Lord will not hold him guiltless who take his name in vain. Exodus 20 and 7. Behold, God is holy. He must punish all who sin and his place of punishment is hell for all eternity. If you've done even one of these things, you are currently holding the ticket to hell. But God is in his mercy had made a way for you to be forgiven. He offers you the ticket to heaven. Which ticket are you holding? Ticket to heaven or the ticket to hell? And it says, They shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. 2 Thessalonians 1 and 9. The ticket to hell. Here it is right here. Them commandments. You want to keep them commandments. Because God said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. I'm not going to be before you long. Because um, I could talk about what God brought me from all day long. This is not just my show. It's mine because God blessed me with it. However, it is the other shows and vessel shows. Because I'm, I'm not the only vessel that's out here that's being used by God. However... Um, when we talk about been there, done that, I did at the beginning of the show, I flashed some words because a lot of them things were things that was, uh, that could have took me either way, heaven or hell, you know. And I thank God for not being confused, rebellious, disobedient. I thank him for, for um, guidance. I thank him for loving me enough to to have mercy on, on my soul. Uh, I, it's well with me today, and uh, I love everybody. 
and ain't nothing you can do about me loving you anyway. I love you, and I, and I don't even know you. I love you, okay? Um, and that's one thing I was telling somebody about whew, how how sometimes when God does what he does, when he take our loved ones away, how it draws us even closer to him. And some of it, it they act like they don't get the message of what God is doing. Um, and they actually go the opposite direction. However, um, I just want to continue. I want to just encourage everybody to keep holding on to God's unchanging hand. And uh, we did talk about uh, some of the things that does happen um, in the body of Christ. Uh, we'll do that uh, probably on another show. Uh, maybe on the next show I'm just being Bobby because right now I got Elder Foles about to bring a message. And he was talking about having a hell last Sunday, which was Palm Sunday. I'm going to let that little part swing on in there. And then I'm going to bring his other message, been there, done that. And uh, the next voice you'll hear, with, it will be Elder Charles Foles of IDC, one of the lost sheep ministry. We got to get it fired up. Come on, Elder. Come from the hip, Elder. Right. All right. All right. Pass me, me not, oh gentle say.
God didn't tell you he was going to preach all the time in a, with a house full or in a cathedral. That's right. All right now. But he just said, preach my gospel. Yeah, yeah. Amen. So that's what I come to do. I come to lift him up. Yes, Lord. And if I do my best, I know he'll do his best. Yes. Oh, yes. We're not going to be very long, but it is friends and family day, and it's a, really a time of us unifying ourselves. Amen. You know, so we can come to church and get the church in unity. We need to get ourselves in unity at home. Yes, amen. amen. Sometimes there's so much confusion in our homes, and then we wonder why we can't praise God. That's right in church. Mm -hmm. So the 133rd Psalm, when the question had been raised, is their word oh, from yes. the Lord. Come on, preacher. You can tell them that yes, there is a word yes. Oh, yes. from the Lord. Oh, yes. The 133rd Psalm. Yes. Y'all don't mind exercising. Oh, yes. Stand up, please. Amen. We certainly thank God for our visitors. Amen. And we hope uh, y'all will come again. See our cousin back there, and we saw a young lady from Brady. <coughs> I, 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 I always have a warm spot for Brady because Brady's money helped took care of my family. Amen. When my children were going, growing up, because my Amen. wife worked there for Amen. many years. Amen. But the 133rd Psalm, Psalm said, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Says, it's like the precious oil upon the head, running down on the beard, the beard of Aaron, running down on the edge of his garments. And it is like the dew of Hermon descending upon the mountains of Zion. For there is the Lord commanded the blessing, life forevermore. Yes, yes. Thus in the reading mm -hmm. of the word, oh, yes. we want to talk for a little while. Mountain dew and sweet perfume. You may be seeing. Amen. Amen. Right. Mountain mm -hmm. dew mm -hmm. and sweet perfume. Now yes. let me make one thing clear. I'm not talking <laughs> about mountain dew, the soul. Mm -hmm. No, I am I talking about the perfume. Mm -hmm. You go to your favorite yes. fragrance mm -hmm. store and buy and put on. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about mm -hmm. some spiritual mm -hmm. blessings here. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Just want to make that clear that folks don't go on talking about the other preacher preach about Mountain Dew <laughs> <laughs> and, and Cologne. <laughs> See, we want to look at it. <laughs> In a spiritual sense. That's right. Isn't it good to laugh sometimes? Amen. Yeah. Amen. Laughter, they say, is good for the soul. Yeah. Amen. But we live in a fractured world. Yes, yes, yes. Many churches are divided. Mm. And even in a unified church, yes. none of us knows how many marriages are troubled. How many homes or tents are broken? Or how many friendships are strained? God wants us to be one. Amen. And Christ prayed for our unity in John 17 and 11. Amen. Amen. In order for a church to function properly, it must have unity. Amen. If there is one thing the devil does not like, it's teamwork. That's right. If you want to defeat the devil, and I do this morning, mm -hmm. just get a bunch of Christians mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. that's got their hearts and minds on the Lord Jesus yes, Christ. Yes, yes, yes. And the devil mm -hmm. will run. Do y'all want to run him out of here this morning? Yes, sir. Well, let's get on one accord. All right. We need Christian people that will put God first in their individual life and come together 
in God's house. See, we got to have it right in here first before we can come up in here talking about what we need to do. If we ain't got God in us, ain't no God going to come out of us. That's right. If we don't put him first in our individual life, how am I going to come and preach to you about putting God first? That's right. I got to first put him together in my life. And then I can come together in God's house. And you know what I'm going to come doing? I'm going to come rejoicing. I'm going to come singing. And I'm going to come praising God. Yes. I ain't got to beg you to sing. Mm -hmm. Got to beg you to pray. I ain't got to beg you to give God some prayer. Because mm -hmm. I got him in me. And if he in me, he got to come out of me. Mm -hmm. See, we can get a whole lot more done by putting God first than we can by putting him last. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we get so hung up on ourselves, getting to thinking, but the Bible said we ought not to think more highly of ourselves than we are. That's right, amen. So in other words, he telling them, you ought to put me first. That's right, amen, amen. Quit putting God mm -hmm. on the back burner yes. until you can't get out of a jam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you start to my Lord, have mercy on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But by looking in the sun, yes. we see that Christians should dwell together mm. in unity right. in the local church. Oh yes. Right here. That's right. In the local church. Amen. Amen. How are we gonna go out and evangelize mm. when we fight in here? That's right. When we all going 200 different directions. Yes, yes. How are we going to go out and tell somebody to come to Jesus Lord uh -huh. when we ain't came ourselves? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. We got to first get our house Amen. in order. Uh -huh. And how do we do that? By putting God first. Uh -huh. Amen. Once heard a preacher preach a sermon about putting God back uh -huh. in first place. Yes, yes. So we had done got so high and mighty till we were in first That's right. and had God last. Mm -hmm. But we got to come together yes. and put God back where he belonged yes. in first place. Mm -hmm. I hear a preacher on the radio say in his church, mm -hmm. ain't no big eyes and little you. Right. Say, what? say, ain't no big eyes and little you. You know, and it's so easy to say, mm -hmm. but do we really practice that? That's right. That's right. Sometimes we get so caught up on, on our own individual yeah. selves That's right. until we forget that our God is no respect the person. That's right. Watch out, he looked at us as all of us. That's right. Yeah, he made us leaders and made some teachers and some preachers and yes, some yes, prophets, yes. but he made us all on one level. That's right. And in God's eyes, we all the same. That's right. I ought not to think I'm more high right. than Bishop. And That's right. That's Bishop right. ought not to think he's right. more high than somebody yes. else. And yes. You yes. ought not to think you oh, yes. so much better than anybody else. Come on. But with God, yes. we can do all things Amen. but faith. Amen. See, it's only what we do for Christ mm. that will last anyway. Yes. Amen. In our text this morning, we're going to look at three helpful truths Amen. about unity. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to go and take my seat. Mm -hmm. I ain't going to keep you out in the cold. You ain't got to say, I ain't coming back no more because they preach too long. <laughs> Come on, but first of all, he teaches us in this song yes, yes. that unity is well pleasing. Well, Do you really want to please God? Amen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, but then get unified. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yes. Unified in our service to God. Unified in our praise to God. Oh, yes. Unified in our worship to God. Unified in our service to God. Yes. And watch God work. Mm -hmm. Look what he said now. He said, Behold, mm -hmm. how good and pleasant mm -hmm. it is for brethren to dwell well, together in unity. in unity. Amen. He don't want us fighting. Don't want us hating on each other. Don't want us trying to run over somebody to put our own brand ahead of God. 
Ain't but one bread, and that's God's bread. Ain't but one way, and that's God's way. The word behold draws our attention to this. Hey, look, check this out if you don't mind. When people get along with each other, it's both good and pleasant. Isn't it good when you can work in that apartment and everybody get along? Yes. Yes. At the end of the day, you get more work accomplished than you would have been trying to act like you know more about the job than anybody else. Right. Right. Yeah, I worked for this some years. I know how that is. Me too. Folks want to know more about it than anybody. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, you got more scrap to throw away than you'd have had if you'd have come together. Yes, yes, yes. Come so on, that's what is both good and pleasant. Come on, picture. I stopped by to tell you that many things are good, mm -hmm. but not pleasant. That's All right. right now, come on. See, I had to learn that. <coughs> So when you out in the world, all you looking for is something that feel good That's right. to you, look good, mm -hmm. smell good, yes, yes. All right. but it ain't always pleasant. That's right. And other things are pleasant, but not good. That's right. Okay, come on. But here's something morally mm. good yes, yes. and emotionally about getting along. Yes with us. Mm -hmm. God want us yes. to get along. Amen. He wouldn't have told us to love one another. How can you love somebody if you can't get along with yes. them? Oh, yes. How can I love Bishop and then I got to talk about it behind his back? Amen. 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 How can I love you Amen. if Amen. all I'm doing is criticizing That's right. everything you do? Oh, yes. You can't love me and hate me at the same time. That's right. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. That's why I tell people you can't be anointed mm. and angry at the same time. Woo! And talk about two preachers. Stop. Amen. <laughs> Amen. God's anointing ain't gonna fall on you when you got hate in your heart. That's right. right. You Amen. just up performing. Right. You're not preaching. What you say? need to ask you, suppose you could attend today one of two churches. Mm -hmm. The first one was fragmented mm -hmm. and the other one was love. Mm -hmm. Which one would you attend this morning? Oh, yeah. Come on. The loving church. Mm -hmm. yeah. Bishop had a He didn't even have to wait on that. He, he said a loving church. Because right. God don't dwell in no unclean place. Yeah. He ain't in the middle of a mess. That's right. If you're fragmented, you all broke up. That's right. This group and this group mm. and this group. That's right. You're over here, you're over there, you're mm. bouncing off the wall. Mm. That's right. You're doing everything but coming together. Yes, yes. On one accord. See, it's good and pleasant to dwell together in unity. Yes. Up bad to tell you this morning that when we think about unity, it's good for the growth of the church. Amen. Amen. You want your church to grow, get unified. Yes, yes. unified. Get on one accord. One accord. Yeah. It's good for the growth of Christians. Yeah. If you want to put that bottle down and start eating some solid food, get unified with the word of God. Oh yeah. You don't want to call. One call. We got too many folks that have been in church for 30 years and still sucking a bottle. Mm -hmm. Still got a passive fire hanging out their mind, out their mouth, and then yeah. talking about, I ain't getting fed, so I don't go there today. Yeah. I ain't going to so and so preaching because he don't feed me or she don't preach good enough. Yeah. She don't get in my emotion and make me want to jump and shout. So I ain't going. All right, now. Help somebody. <laughs> see, unity will. Yes, it's good for the world to see yes, Christians God. in unity. Yes, oh, I tell you, we are living in a messed up world. Now. Yes, yes. And folks are looking for somebody yes. that will shine a light on their lives. That's 
That will give them a word of encouragement that will lift up some hope now and then. But when they see us fighting, hear what they're going to say, see ya? Told you they made nothing but a bunch of hypocrites. That's the truth, okay, preacher. They made nothing but some pretending okay. in that church. That's, right. That's why I don't go. That's right. That's what the devil, you okay. letting the devil win. Yeah. Yeah. But we ought to get on one accord. That's right. Thank and you. let the world know that the Christians stand for something. Oh, yeah. See, I see stand for something. They stand for killing. And destroy, and they want to destroy everything. Ain't that what the Bible said the devil is about? Mm -hmm. God said, Where are you going, Satan? Say, I'm going to and fro. Right. Seeing who I can devour. Mm -hmm. That's all Isis is doing. They're working for the devil. Mm -hmm. They're going to France and they come into America and they going to Brussels and they're going to Jerusalem. They're going anywhere they can get into them. Trying to see who they can devour. But if the Christian would stand together, quit worrying about if you're a Baptist Christian or Methodist Christian or non denomination or a Kojic Christian, just be a Christian that will stand on the Word of God. Just be a believer that for God I live and for God I die. Something about unity. Yes, yes. I don't know about you, but I want to see the church grow. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want to see the Christian yes, yes, community yes. grow. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I want to see relationships grow and yes. prosper. Mm. We spend too much time on doctrine mm -hmm. and not enough time worrying about Jesus. Okay. Amen. Amen. Verse 2 tells us. It's like precious oil. Oh, yes. Upon the head, running down on the beard of Aaron. Yes, yes. You see, in the Old Testament, God used a lot of anointing with oil mm. to signify the setting apart of certain people Amen. for divine service. Oh, yes. Christians don't want to be set apart. I don't want to look like the world. Oh, no. I don't want to look like how I looked when I was in the tavern. Hey, Come on. I don't want to look like how I was when I was doing my dirt. Come on now. I want to look different. I want to look like he picked me up and turned me around. I want to look like I've been cleansed oh, yeah. by the blood of the Lamb. Oh, yeah. See, I can't do no divine service yes, yes. if I'm still dirty, mm -hmm. if I'm still nasty, Come on now. if I'm still wallowing in the mud of the world. How can I do some Holy Ghost service? How can I be a witness to somebody? And they just saw me last night on the bar stool. Come on now. They just saw me doing what I used to do. Uh -huh. That's true. I gave up a little of it just on Sunday. Mm -hmm. But on Monday through Saturday, I'm still in the scotch bar. <laughs> still in the gin bar. Still smoking a little weed. Come on, I, I got to change yeah. my attitude. I got to change my way of thinking. Oh, yeah. I can't become unified with Christ if I'm still dirty. Yeah. Well, that, doctor. See, they all represent the Holy Spirit coming upon someone, oh, yes. sanctifying that person oh, yes. for holy use. Oh, yes. See, that's why Bishop got the oil out. Yes. Amen. It's Amen. to set apart. Amen. It's to anoint you. Oh, yes. To make you change. Yes. To make you think mm. about what it represents. Oh, yes. This ain't nothing new. Mm. This is what God did. Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yes. God instructed mm. Moses yes, yes. to appoint Aaron as high priest. Yes. Using all, if you don't believe it,
Go to Leviticus 8 and 30 That's right. and read it. Oh, yes. Exodus 30 mm. gives us a unique recipe mm. yeah. for this perfume oil. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. You can't get this at Boston Store. <laughs> you, you can't go out right. at Macy's and get this perfume oil. That's why I wanted you to know. Don't think about this worldly mountain dew and this kind of perfume. Yes, sir. It was made from four <laughs> ingredients. Oh, yes. Olive oil, liquid, mm. marrow, cinnamon, mm. and cassia. You don't believe it? Go to Exodus 30. That's right. 22 through 33. That's right. I'm preaching what the word said. Oh, Amen. Right. Not what I thought. Mm -hmm. It was a sweet smelling mm -hmm. perfume. Yeah. See, you can make it in the lamp, but if ain't no God in it, it ain't gonna have the same effect. That's right. See, you can. You can go out and call yourself duplicate mm -hmm. and put them in Boston store in right. the mall. Mm -hmm. But this is some oil that mm -hmm. God gave the ingredients. That's right. That yes. God gave oh, how yes. the oh, mixologist yes. how to mix. Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. That's right. It's the real thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like Coke said, mm -hmm. they the real thing, but this Amen. God is the real you thing. Say that. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. And see the, the, the Bible said that it ran down his beard, saturating his clothes. And I thought about, boy, we tried to anoint some folks and get some oil on their dresses or their suits. <laughs> they would have a fit now, <laughs> You got to put just a little bit on their forehead. <laughs> they want the anointing, but don't mess up my suit now. <laughs> but I just paid $20 to get that clean. <laughs> and what if that oil can't come out? If God gave you that dress or that suit, he can give you a Amen. Amen. But we don't really believe that. And, and he said, it ran down the fringes of his garment. Yes. Everywhere all yes. that yes. all was. Yes, yes. And according to Psalm mm. 133, mm. that's how what the unity of the body of Christ is like. Amen. When you accept Jesus and we come together as one, oh, yes. it's just like that. Like we've been somebody that God has pulled some oil over oh, yes. us. Oh, yes. Yes. And our cup run oh, over. Yes. We got oh, so yes. much love in our heart. Oh, yes. We willing to share it. We willing to reach out and touch somebody. Say, so, yeah, I got too much. Oh, yes. I got too much. Yes. I see you ain't got nothing but I got too much, and I want to give you just a little bit of what Jesus gave me. I tell you, unity brings us to where we want to share Amen. what we have. Oh yes. Oh yes. Share our resources. Amen. Oh yes. You ain't got no car, and I got one. You got a ride. Amen. You hungry, and I got some food. You got some. Food. Amen. Oh yes. You broke and I got some money, you got some money. Oh, yes. What happened to how we used to be oh, when we didn't have nothing? Oh, oh, Mama used to have me walking all over the neighborhood, mm. taking this and taking the that mm. to somebody. Oh, yes. And now folks will grow a garden and down there on 20th and Brown. And That's right. They'll let it stay in the field and, mm. and freeze. Rather than give it to somebody. But they love God, they say. They in unity with Christ. God is first in their life. How can he even be anywhere near you when you won't do none of the things that God would do? Come on now. Come on now. All right. All right. You want that now? I feel like preaching. Preach. 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 Church. 
Yeah. We can do some things that folks look at us and say, how do we accomplish this? Right. With them four or five people. Come on, oh, yeah. How can they pull this off mm -hmm. when the church is half empty? Mm -hmm. But see, the Christians see it as being half full. Mm -hmm. See, how can they do that? When we got a house full, got to put our chairs every Sunday. Mm -hmm. And our tithes and offering is down. Mm -hmm. And nails is up. Mm -hmm. But when you've been saturated Amen. and drenching oh, the yes. people of yes. God, oh, yes. that's why we preach so hard. Because oh, yes. yeah. it's our job to saturate you oh, yes. with all. Okay. It's our job to drench you with the word of God. Amen. And when you've been drenched, oh, yes. saturated in the word, you've been saturated in Jesus. Amen. Amen. You've been saturated in love. You've been saturated in compassion. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. See, when you do that, you're making them one. Yes, yes, yes. Instead of IDC being mm -hmm. many, okay. we become one. one. On one, oh, one accord. Yes. Right. One body. Yes. I was in theology school one time, yes. and the teacher was talking about, I don't know what they do over there, okay. but over here, this is what we do. And I, <laughs> I had to raise my hand and say, Brother teacher, don't the word say one faith, one baptism. That's right. That's right. We need to quit talking cogent right. and preach Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Seem like you can't even find. Oh, yeah. 
it would give you the ability to trust God. When the red man said, you got to get out of my house, it'll give you ability to trust God. When the job said it closed, and now we're going to move out of time, that you will realize that if God gave you that job, He'll give you another. I tell you, I've been there, and I've done that, and I put all of my trust in God. And lastly, he talks about unity. It's life giving. Unity is also like the dew of Hermon. This is the highest mountain in Israel. It marched the runs into streams uh -huh. and rivers mm -hmm. the flow into the Jordan River would run north to south through Israel, uh -huh. irrigating and giving life mm -hmm. to all the land. Mm -hmm. Isn't that somehow God, even in a desert, yeah. can perform, provide moisture, yeah. can provide water. Yeah. Even in a dry desert, we think of a desert, yeah. they ain't nothing but a dry place. Yeah. But I think about when he went into that valley full of dry bones. And he asked the question, can these bones live? Okay. Man, there's sense enough to tell him only you know him. That's right. Yeah. You see? Yeah. see, sometimes we try to act like we smart as God. Yeah. But he said, only you know him. Yeah, that's right. Amen. Amen. But I'm glad this morning that I know what God yeah. is all about. Well, yes. And that's the way of unity uh -huh. of the spirit. Come on. It gives life. Yes. I stop by to tell you, uh -huh. it'll unite broken marriage. Yeah. It'll mend broken friendships, yeah. families, mm -hmm. and especially yeah. the church. Uh -huh. He will give life mm -hmm. to others. Uh -huh. I stop by to tell you that one that is divine. Mm -hmm. Had no life to give. Mm -hmm. If you see a divided church, mm -hmm. they can't give you nothing but division. Right. They can't give you nothing but more fight right. and more confusion. Yes, yes. But one that is unified mm -hmm. in God, right. oh, yes. you'll find a church that one can't fall yeah. without somebody there to pick them up. Amen. You'll find that if one is hungry, Everybody will reach out yeah. and feed that hunger. Yeah. If one of them don't have no clothes, yeah. in a unified church, yeah. some clothes will show up at your door. Yes, yes, I, I remember the story of the lady delivering papers yes, on a snowy morning with just some old thin tennis shoes on. Come on, come on. But I tell you, unity walked into that neighborhood. Yes, yes. Family looked mm. out and saw that young lady yeah. and said, I, I will get you some boots. Yeah. See, that's what God will do. Oh, yeah. God will let you see a need that's right. oh, yeah. and then he'll give you the will of God yeah. to supply that need. Because yeah. he said, I will supply all of the need yeah. according yeah. to my riches and glory. Yeah. When you become yeah. unified yeah. in life, yeah. you can do yeah. some things that your ordinary would do. You'll go some places that your ordinary would go. I tell you, it's a good thing to be unified in God. I'm glad this morning that I gave my life over to God. I'm going to run till I can't run no more. I'm going to serve as long as I have God. I'm going to preach until I can't preach no more. I'm going to sing songs of Zion till they tell me, come on in, my good and faithful servant. I'm going to stay on the battlefield fighting for the Lord. I'm going to stay while it's day. I'm going to work while it's day.
when night comes, when night comes, I can't do nothing. That's right. Come on, Don't do it. You see, let me tell you something. Well, he no. gave us hope. Yes, sir. When they said it wasn't no hope. Right. He opened yes. doors. Right. Thank when you. doors closed in yeah. the yeah. He made a way. Yes, when it wasn't no way. Always made a way. Saved our souls. Oh yeah. When we were on our way oh, yes. to a burning me. Oh, yes. So I yeah. close today. Yeah. I want you to know. That God wants his church. Yeah. Say my church. It's God's church. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And God wants his church yeah. to yes. become one. Oh, yes. Yeah. One from oh, the yes. front oh, yes. to the back. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. From side to side. Yeah. From the top to the bottom. Oh, yes. Want us to become one. And when we become one, we can experience. We can experience. Yes, yes. We can experience oh, yeah. the mountain dew. Amen. Oh, yeah. And the sweet perfume. Oh yeah. May God bless you. Oh yeah. And may God keep you. Amen. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I said one of you again. Amen. It's not safe. Mm. One of the day that we really yes. want to yes. give their life oh, yeah. to God. Hallelujah. One that want to experience yes. the mountain dew. Oh yes. And have that sweet perfume. Mm. Oh of yeah. Them. Yes. To take with us to yeah, the home, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. to the jobs. Yes, yes. Perhaps there's mm -hmm. just one oh, yes. that really don't know God. Yeah. And want to let this be the day yes. mm -hmm. that they accept Faith God Jesus. Yeah. as their oh, person yes. to say. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. If there is one, oh, yes. you, are to you ought to come today. To his hand. Yeah, come on, as you sing. God's unchanging hand, you are to hold to his hand. Doors of the church is open, is there one? God's unchanging hand, is there one that you are to his hand?